攀岩登山、长跑马拉松、自行车越野、橡皮舟漂流，听上去是不是有些热血沸腾？这就是探险越野的魅力。想要体会疯狂和刺激带来的酣畅淋漓吗？想要为战胜对手、征服自然而振臂高呼吗？现实是残酷的，持之以恒的日常训练才是第一步。I think that the first time that、uh, I was inspired to do any type of ultra distance events is is when、uh, my friends and and family told me that it couldn't be done.、Uh, they said that was a type of event that was reserved for professionals or or for sort of hardcore athletes. And for me, I thought, well, if I just put in a little bit of time every day to do training、uh, after work or After、uh, you know, on the weekends, then, and my 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 goal was just to finish. Then why couldn't I finish? Why couldn't I do it? Because I'm I'm not a professional athlete.、Uh, my training is 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 very different. It's uh, uh, I can only squeeze in the amount of time. Let's say after work,、uh, I don't get off work till about eight o'clock. It's too dark to go outside, so I'll, I'll be indoors in the gym and I'll run on a treadmill, but I'll run with with a backpack with this, which is full of rice. So it has the the weight of about around 30 pounds, and my friends call that mini me, and I use that to do my my training.、Um, on the weekends, when I have more time, then I'll run outdoors and I'll I'll run out, run around. And Hong Kong is very mountainous, so there's a lot of trails to run uphill. The biggest challenge is is when I'm out there is you're alongside a lot of professional athletes, a lot of of、uh, military guys,、uh, guys that、uh, have have jobs. That requires them to be outdoors, doing very, very strenuous activities such as firefighting or, or maybe personal trainers.、Uh, so, as as a I guess as as a, as a normal person, you really have to step up and uh, uh, do sort of take it to to the same level. But you have a very limited amount of, of training to do. So it, it's it it gets to be be quite challenging. 探险越野赛事可能会持续多天，并且有两个或两种以上的形式相结合。比如自行车、跑步、游泳、划水等，通过严谨科学、持之以恒的身体训练。二零零六年 ，Derek Quick 成为第一个中国人以十五名之内的好成绩跑过四片大沙漠。Desert running is is not so much about the actual training.、Uh, that's only one component of getting prepared for one of these events.、Uh, the I think what's more important than that is the actual research and planning. Uh, before the event, so you have to know what type of gear to bring. A backpack is not a backpack.、Uh, do you want to bring water bottles or a hydration bladder?、Uh, what type of clothes are you going to wear? Well, that really depends on what the temperature is,、uh, what kind of terrain you'll be running in.、Uh, all of those、uh, variables are different for every desert.、Uh, so there's a lot of, of research and planning that goes into it. You can't、uh, just just show up、uh, with with training under your belt and do the race because、uh, equipment is. Is very very important. When I was in the、uh, Sahara Desert in in Morocco,、uh, we had sandstorms every single day, and they were head-on sandstorms.、Um, and in a sandstorm, the visibility drops significantly, and you can hardly see where you're running.、Uh, the research that I did、uh, was to not bring sunglasses,、uh, but more importantly, I thought it might be more it might be more effective to bring ski goggles. I think the most specific thing about about the Gobi Desert、uh, in, in China is that it's the world's highest altitude desert. So I think at its highest point, it's around 5,000 meters.、Uh, when when I did the run in, in the Gobi Desert, it was、uh, 250 kilometers over seven days. That roughly works out to be a marathon every day. Doing these 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 races is, is not about、uh, coming in first place or second place. It's, it's all about finishing. I think in life, whether it's it's in work or your personal challenges, or when you're competing in an event, it's more important to finish, because once you get into the habit of finishing, then you you can you can get in the habit of of improving. People when they when they do these events, that they have to be ultra fit.、Uh, doing these types of of long distance events, I would say it's 60% is mental and 40% physical, because、uh, your 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 body is going to. Want to quit long before your mind does. So it's all about the mental aspect of focusing, of just finishing. 由于成绩突出 ，Direct Quick 经常被邀请做演讲，激励更多的年轻人参加进来。探险越野赛事其实是一种全身心的测试，锻炼身体，承受最大物理耐力的同时，精神耐力的磨练其实更为重要。I never really had had planned on on doing motivational speeches.、Uh, it just sort of happened.、Uh, one one thing I found is that after I came back from 
from my desert runs or from uh, running across the jungle, people would want me to share those experiences with them. And as a result, it became an inspirational thing. Schools and uh, governments and companies would call me up and they would ask me to go and speak to their, their people and, and try to inspire them to take it to the next level. For me, when I go up there, I say, look, I'm just an everyday person like you. I sit behind a desk. I work the same hours that you do. But I take a little bit of time every day to do my training and, and get, get, get what I need to get done. And they can, they can understand that. They can, they can uh, feel the blisters that I feel. They can feel the, you know, the dehydration. They can feel the heat. They can feel the cold. I try to do at least one ultra distant event each year. I have not decided what, what I'm going to do this year.